Both cameras rolling? Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yes. Cool. Yeah, we're in my studio in Dalston, South Dalston, Haggerston, North Shoreditch. I've just sort of decided to coin my own stuff as beat rock because I think the backbone is rock music. It is like having something to shout about and I think that's where the sort of punky, slightly rough edge comes from as well. You have this supporting foundations of sort of classic songwriting and choruses that are meant to do what grunge choruses do. You kind of <laughs> make you go like, yeah, that's a chorus, mixed in with pioneering, abstract, sonic-based stuff. That's my idea of sort of electronic music or using machines to sequence or automate certain things that still keep it sounding quite raw. The song started up from resampling and pitching this noise that, that I heard in one of the pieces. I always enjoy as a kind of like 90s approach of sampling and pitching. It's so rewarding, I think. Follow me around the lower east side with your camera, with your camera. From the poem audio, there is this noise. <laughs> which in the context just happens in between the two lines, I think, that the girl is saying, which sounds like this. Thinking all the same, I know the Radiant City. So the first thing I did was cut that noise out and then took it to my sampler sequence machine. And with a little bit of EQing, we get a noise like this. After mucking around, I came up with a bass line. And then we're back on the computer, that gets recorded in. There was another thing I found in it that I liked, which is this. That noise in particular actually ended up being... set about doing some lyrics that were kind of influenced by the other factors that Johnny had given us. There's a map of the Lower East Side of New York and a quote as well, which is the dreams of our youth. In my own stuff, I quite like repeating a line or a phrase that I think has some kind of weight to it. I came up with this line for the chorus, which was, film your own television. So it can either be taken in that way or it can be a suggestible, encouraging thing to say that you can make your own good news if that's what you want to see instead. I'm really actually into the early stages of mid-century American industrial design, sort of Henry Dreyfus and stuff like that. And I really feel like the Wayfarer thing, like the Ray-Ban style is very influenced by this aspirational shape with one eye on being almost utilitarian. I'm going to tenuously tie this into music. So you have a classic product, it's topical and current to the age that you're living in. When I was growing up, the main thing that was important was that I could go and see music live, and these people were young men and women making music, and it seemed topical. You are primed to represent it, which is what is nice about playing live and doing sort of topical things and promoting a record. It does feel really exciting and I do thoroughly enjoy it. 